ये हमारा एफ है इसमें आप आज आ, आज आपको हम बताने वाले हैं बी सेंसर के बारे में इस एफ एच यू में आपने कुछ सेंसर इंस्टॉल किया हुआ है तो आप देख सकते हैं ये हमारा बैक फिल्टर है बैक फिल्टर में एक बैक बिफोर और आफ्टर दो दिन के कनेक्शन किया हुआ है Your all doubts will be cleared regarding the BMS sensors or BMS devices, or we can say it as uh, instrumentation devices. Uh, generally, uh, what is happening? Uh, if something happens uh, near the field uh, side, uh, without the sensor, you cannot know. You have to go there. You have to physically check. It will take so much time. It will consume time. So, for uh, escaping this, uh, better. We will provide the sensors. Even some area you cannot access. So for all this facilitating, uh, better uh, you 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 can install the sensors and uh, through the sensor you can get the all the feedbacks. So here these are the some uh, sensors we have used for FHU fresh air handling unit AC units. So one by one we will discuss and how uh, this is installed and what is the purpose for this sensor one by one we will discuss. So these are the some types and one by one we will discuss. So the first one is showing BMS controller. Actually uh, the brand we have used here is Honeywell. Why we used we can use another brand also. But here you, we used uh, Honeywell because the main panel is Honeywell and the same brand we should have. Uh, all the devices because if uh, if you will go for the different brand the system cannot be interface with the field devices that's why the same brand we are going so the existing BMS panel is of Honeywell that's why we have purchased a BMS controller and we are going to connect to the main system so here we have total uh, four quantity actually BMS controller uh, through this we can give input and output and uh, we can operate like uh, NONC type or we can say it uh, uh, 0 or 1 this IO points and uh, output points we can say input points we can say so this all uh, through this controller we can operate through the computer through the internet uh, so uh, in the previous video I have shown these uh, controllers uh, so you can see that video also so now we will discuss about the sensors and switches the first one is showing is air difference pressure switch as the na as the name mentioned here air difference it means that this is the sensor by which we can uh, know about the differences between the air pressure and we can say it as dps also because here the modern number is also written DPS 400 here we have uh, used total 5 quantity uh, so actually this air difference where we needed uh, in the duct we install some filters so the filter is dirty or clean what is the percentage of dirtiness this all we can know through this DPS because DPS will get the reading before the uh, before the filter and after the filter so this this detail we can get through the computer no need to go at sight that's why we have uh, used this air difference pressure switch second sensor is on off damper actuator this sensor is used for closing and opening the damper damper we have provided for exhaust duct and uh, fresh air duct, return duct, mixed damper duct and uh, the fifth one is for supply duct this. so for damper closing or opening we are using actuator so through this actuator we can fully close or fully open the damper but uh, if we need to close 50% or 60% through this actuator we cannot do because for that we needed two-way modulating actuators that we will discuss in the next uh, here we have used total seven quantity then the third one is two-way modulating wall width actuator this is the actuator we can operate both sides and we can uh, close and open as much as much we required uh, this uh, this actuator we have used for the chilled water pipes because 
this chilled water pipe is feeding to FHU for cooling purpose. Uh, the temperature how much we required accordingly we can control the chilled water pipe valve as uh, we can close 50% 20% as per the cooling required. So this all will be automatically through the BMS uh, because uh, in the BMS you will set like 30% uh, 30 degrees Celsius so once this 30 degree Celsius or 20 degree Celsius will reach the actuator the this chilled water actuator will close or open accordingly then the fourth one is uh, air difference pressure sensor it's same like as I discussed in the first air difference pressure switch uh, here we can get the pressure of air then the fifth one is duct temperature humidity sensor this means uh, this is the sensor to get the reading of temperature how much temperature is inside the duct a humidity sensor means how much humidity is inside that and so we can data we can get the data uh, through this sensor so it's both combined one temperature and humidity both so this one we are installing a total four number uh, before the heater and after the heater then also we are using in the duct then the sixth one is duct temperature sensor this is only the uh, sensor for the temperature so we can get the reading of temperature this one we are using in the mixed damper area that we can show you and the last one is DDC enclosure that already I have shown in the previous video in the drawing here this uh, in the middle side is cross section that is mixed damper and the left side upper left you can see exhaust air and after this exhaust air it's retain uh, damper this M actually this M uh, for motor actuator we can say it as a damper actuator here there are three lines that is for the cable uh, one for power 24 volt DC and uh, second and third is for one for feedback and uh, one for command so total three cables are going to this actuator damper actuator and uh, through this we can close and open the damper of exhaust air the down one is for fresh air duct here you can see the first one is uh, for fresh air damper actuator here also there are three cables one cable for the 24 volt power supply and second and third for the feedback and command so we can uh, open and close damper through this actuator the third one is DPS this DPS we have used before and after the back filter and then uh, then the, uh, another DPS showing that is for supply fan uh, air difference before and after of fan uh, then uh, when we will go to the right side there is mixed damper here we have also provided one actuator for closing and opening the mix damper. Here you can see the red. The red line is uh, for the tube, UV, UV light tube that we have used uh, for killing the bacteria. If some bacteria comes through the air, uh, we can kill through this UV light provided inside the duct. After this UV light tube, uh, there is one RHT that is temperature plus humidity sensors and then again heater and then after again uh, there is temperature and humidity sensors means we have placed two temperature and humidity sensor before and after the heater to get the reading of the air air temperature then filter then again there is RST sensor uh, and then after again there is damper so we have provided actuator then if we come down here uh, there is one fan we have provided DPS before and after to get the air difference then again right of this uh, right side of this fan again RST that humidity and temperature sensor then again right side the DPS for the filter so this is how we have provided now at site I will show you all the BMS sensors, how we have installed, how we have connected and how it looks, these all things you will see in this video.
uh, actually this DPS we have installed for supply fan before and after the uh, blade uh, this supply fan is in running work because uh, it cannot open the door and uh, now this isolator is provided for uh, supply of this uh, fan and uh, now I will show you uh, the exhaust damper actuator will show you uh, this actuator that we have provided for exhaust damper to close and open fully it can it cannot be open or uh, close percentage but like 550 percent we cannot close or open fully it can be closed only because it is only one way actuator now uh, this section is called a mixed chamber in this we have provided one temperature sensor and uh, second one we have provided actuator for uh, damper closing and opening and this all can be operated controlled by the BMA system from the other area other control that's what we have stored here so this is the temperature sensor we gave the reading of temperature inside this area and uh, this actuator we have provided for this damper now we will see this is the humidity and temperature sensor and this box is a controller for UV light there is one UV light tube inside uh, that I will uh, show you in, in, in the last uh, because uh, when I will switch off then after I can show you uh, this the DP switch uh, we have used for the return fan before and after the blade now uh, other area this isolator we have provided for a jaws uh, fan and uh, our return fan you can see it and this is the section of heater and uh, this heater I cannot open uh, later on I will show you how the thyristors are there inside actually there are three phase uh, thyristor three th three number of thyristors are there of three phase and now here this is the pre-filter uh, for supply duct so here you can see it the actuator we have used for the damper and uh, you can see the model number and uh, the voltage and the NONC all the connections are here and uh, here this is the DP and one analog air pressure switch is here uh, and uh, this is the humidity temperature sensor and above that is DPS for the filter and this the actuator for supply fan and now down is for the retard so now what I will do I will uh, switch off and then I will show you what is uh, uh, one more thing in the last step no, the supply duct we have provided air pressure sensor and uh, DPS sensor air DPS sensor both we have provided the temperature sensor and so so now I, what I will do I will open the cabinet of heater and then now we have opened the cabinet of heater and now I can show you how it looks like inside so here there are red, yellow, blue cables this is three phase heater this is the heater rod when the heater uh, will generate heat through through this the air will be heated and the red cable and there is tube inside that one that tube uh, bulb for the UV light for killing the bacteria and there is timer with uh, temperature but that one we will not use